I am now caffeinated, so let's go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the blonde from Coding Blonde, and today I want to talk about programming languages. Surprise! Well, actually, in particular, I want to discuss Python, which is my personal favorite programming language of the day and of the week and I guess of the year, really. I will tell you why I like it so much and give you five different reasons why I think you should start learning it. This video is brought to you by Hackbright Academy, the engineering school for women. They're based in the Bay Area and they run awesome in-person full stack developer courses for women. And they love Python too. Number one is syntax. And by syntax, I mean the words or the expressions and the punctuation that you use to tell computers the different commands. And a lot of the times those include brackets, colons, semicolons, other symbols, you get the picture. Basically, your computer needs to understand that, okay, so this is one sentence, this is another sentence. It's just like the way we use punctuation to kind of show people that this sentence has ended. So syntax is basically that, how your code is structured in terms of symbols and commands and uh, the, the words that you use. Python's syntax is great because it's very clean. It doesn't have as many brackets or semicolons as for example, JavaScript does. And just the commands, the words themselves, the code is very, very easy to read for humans. For example, here you can see a little command that literally tells the computer to print coding blonde is awesome. My computer does that every day. So I think you get the picture. Because Python is so clean when it comes to syntax and it's just super readable, it's very, very beginner friendly. So if you've never written code before, Python actually could be a great place to start. Versatility. Python is awesome, not just because of how easy it is to read, but also because of how versatile it is. Once you learn it, not only you can use it for web development, but you can also use it for data science, which is incredible if you think about it. You learn one and then you can do multiple things with it. And in fact, some research shows that in 2016, Python became the second most popular language for data science um, after R, which is a very scientific language. So think about it this way. Do you remember those two-in-one shampoo and hair conditioner or, well, for men, I guess, uh, shampoo and body shower gel? Well, yeah, Python is just like that, but for the applications <laughs> that it can have. So you learn Python and then you can do different things with it. And did I mention that a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence systems use Python? I mean, drop the mic. <laughs> I'm so cool right now. So if you have not decided on what you would like to do, but you know you want to get started and get, get your hands dirty, maybe Python is a great way to start because then it gives you the flexibility of switching between these different fields. I mean, web development, data science, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Amazing stuff, right? So it's a great addition to your skill set, no matter where your career ends up taking you. Yeah, and in fact, I will do a separate video on that on uh, Python when it comes to career. So stay, stay tuned. Python is a powerful tool. All right, so in case of those two previous reasons weren't enough and you were not already studying Python, let me give you another one that will probably motivate you to do that even more. You'd be surprised by how many big companies are using Python and need more and more developers almost every day to help support their systems. So to name a couple, uh, there's Google, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, NASA, IBM, Pinterest, Dropbox, Spotify, Amazon, Quora, Reddit, Netflix. I mean, I think at this point you get the picture. There are a lot of big tech companies that are using Python. And if this isn't a huge stamp of approval, then I don't know what is. These companies try to use Python wherever they can because it's so simple, so versatile and easy to maintain. In fact, sources say that the founders of Google made an early decision to use Python where we can, C++ where we must. Community. Another huge benefit of Python is the fact that there's such a huge community of developers who know it. And you might ask me, community, why would I need a community when I am a programmer, when I'm developing web applications? Well, my friend, a community comes in very handy 
when you are building something, when you're uh, experimenting with a function or something like that, and you are stuck. You either don't know how to build it or you have a bug that you just can't find. And that is when the community can step in and help you. You can either ask the developers in your community to either give you advice or review your code to find the bug that you can't locate. Or you can also search if that question or if that problem has already come up, if somebody has already had it and asked that question and gotten a solution because there's a good chance that there has been. And trust me, sometimes knowing the programming language is not enough. Googling different questions and problems you might have becomes a very important skill because why reinvent the wheel if somebody's already invented it and somebody's already had that problem and that problem has been solved. So that is when the community really comes in handy. And because a lot of people are learning Python as their first, second or third programming language, the community is constantly growing. And believe it or not, in 2017, Python was the second most popular language on GitHub. And finally, resources. This is where we can see the snowball effect in action. The more companies and people use Python, the more resources there are for it, from frameworks to libraries. And that means that you, my friend, can use it in an even more efficient manner and develop really cool things. I hope that you now see why I love Python so much, why I think it's so useful to learn it, or at least know its basics, because it gives you so many different opportunities. You can work in so many different areas. And if you're ready to explore its basics, Hackbright Academy, which is the engineering school for women, has an awesome free online program called Explore Python. I will link it below. And if you feel inspired to start your programming journey, learn Python with Hackbright Academy and become a full stack developer within a few weeks thanks to their awesome program. The link will also be below, so go check that out. And if you're not based in the Bay Area, I have good news for you, my friend, because Hackbright Academy is launching an awesome online course this coming fall, which is called Intro into Python Programming. They're super excited to be able to give even more women access to this opportunity to enter the tech world and learn the basics of programming. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you like Python just as much as I do. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications not to miss any awesome posts. Again, I will be doing a career related video when it comes to Python very soon. So yeah, stay tuned. And again, I want to thank the awesome people at Harkbread Academy who supported this video and yeah, send you guys some air hugs. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye. Oh. In fact, the source is... Wow, I did not know I could make that kind of sound. It's fun. Wow, my hand is huge. I'll give you five different reasons. Five. Yes where my hand looks normal size, normal human size. <laughs> <laughs>